you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. It turns out that it is possible to convert a quantity of ampere hours into coulombs. And to see how that works, why don't we go ahead and just begin by writing out 84 ampere hours. Now we recall that one amp is equivalent to one coulomb per second. And so if we set up the conversion in this manner, we can see that the amps here in the numerator will cancel with the amps here in the denominator. In addition, we know of course that one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. And by setting up this conversion, we can see that the hours in the numerator will cancel with the hours in the denominator. And then if we look really carefully, we have seconds here in the numerator, and then technically these seconds are in the denominator since we're dividing by seconds. And so we're left with coulombs, and then all we have to do is pick up our calculators and multiply this out. And when we do that, we get roughly 3.0 times 10 to the fifth coulombs. So this is the correct answer to part A. For part B, we know that the change in the potential energy of a quantity of charge is equal to that quantity of charge multiplied by the potential difference across which the charge is moved. And so all we need to do is take the amount of charge that we obtained in part A and then multiply it by the given potential difference of 12 volts. And when we multiply that out, we should get 3.6 times 10 to the power of 6, and then the unit of energy is joules. So this is the correct answer to part B. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I'll do my best to post the answer to it on YouTube.